and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could do some colouring in Johanna Basford's World of Flowers because I finally got this book. Um, I was very very fortunate. I thought I would see if I could get it in a local shop. The bookstore will call Waterstones which is quite a big. It's kind of like Barnes and Nables but UK sort of version <laughs> Waterstones. Didn't have it in there. Didn't have it in W. H. Smith's. And I was like, oh, this is so unusual. Her books are always in there. Not this year. So then I thought, okay, I'll order on Amazon. And it was £13. And then it gone down to 11 and Then, lo and behold, yesterday I went into Sainsbury's, a supermarket. And they had it there. And it was £6. And I was like, yes, I am getting it for £6. So then I cancelled my Amazon order. So I am so happy I got this for such a good deal. So um, if you haven't got this book yet and you live in the UK, check your Sainsbury's. <laughs> Because six pounds is way better than paying eleven, or um, any more if you get it on a different website. So, um, this is the UK edition, obviously, because one colouring is spelt with a U and it doesn't have this pink thing. I do like the cover of the American version more, but which you can get on Amazon UK. It's like two pounds more, but you can get it if you prefer that version. However, I just go for the UK one because one that was one they had in the shop, and two. It matches the rest of mine. <laughs> so I thought we would colour in this today. And I thought we would do this picture here. So it took me a little while to figure out what picture. Because there's so many beautiful ones. And I was like, I'm not sure what one I wanted to colour. But I wanted one I could kind of do with you guys. So um, now it might be that I'll do some with you. Stop the camera, do some off camera, come back you know we do it that way because obviously I don't want this to take forever but it's just uh, I would if you would like to join me with how I'm coloring this page or coloring it your own way then I thought that'd be nice so I thought I fancy doing some watercolor for this background bit around this center bit and maybe try to do something out of here <laughs> Not the best person when it comes to watercolour. I'm learning though, so I thought let's learn together and let's have a go at doing some. So I'm gonna I'm using my Windsor and Newton. So these are my Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolour paints. These are I think 48, the biggest set you can get. And if you go on Amazon, they're not normally that expensive. I think I got these for like 20 pounds. So um Sometimes obviously the price goes up and down, but generally speaking, you can get these for quite a good, good deal. So I was thinking of using now if I get my swatch book out, I was thinking of using yellow and pink, um, for the background. Um, I don't know whether maybe to use a bit of purple too. Hmm. I haven't decided what colour I'm doing the flowers yet, by the way. I might use a bit of purple too. I might use a bit of... I was thinking of using permanent rose, but I may use some white to just make it a bit lighter. And then I wanted to use this lemon yellow hue. But I may use a bit of purple. Um, I like this dioxine purple, but I wouldn't want it that dark, so I probably would make it a bit lighter. Or oh, actually, I could use the purple lake, because that's a bit of a lighter one. Because Mo's a bit too purpley pink, and I kind of want it a bit more purple so I might use purple lake so let's get cracking so normally now this paper is quite thick so <laughs> hopefully it won't bleed through to the other side but there is a to color test palette uh, palette page in this book um now if you really do want to flip through this book please let me know in the comments but there are so many already I kind of felt like you know, I could do one, but yeah, it's just I thought there were there's so many of them, and I didn't really want to like you know rain on that. So I need my paintbrush. Where is this it? No, that's not it. Where is my aha? Uh -huh. So I'm using my Caran d'Ache water brush because I am or paintbrush because I love this paintbrush. It is amazing. So I'm just gonna make my pink. A little bit lighter so I've got to find where it is now <laughs> this is this is why I'm glad I have the swatch book um okay so that's cadmium orange hue cadmium red pale hue oh I've got two of those cadmium red deep hue alizarin crimson hue there's two of those as well hmm. okay 
I don't feel like that one's permanent rose. Maybe I should go from the purples. That might be easier. Okay, so that's the blue ultramarine. So that must be the Zyoxine one, whatever. Mauve. Purple Lake. Rose Matter. Okay, oh, okay, that one is it. Okay. Um, I obviously haven't really used <laughs> this. This is the only problem I find. Like, it's really hard to remember what colour is what. So I'm just going to get some of this and just pop it on my palette. Um, I hope you can see. Oh, you can see. Okay. I wasn't really sure. Um, so I've put my tripod on my bed today just because I really wanted this to kind of face the way you should. Now I'm going to get quite a lot because I'm... Although now I'm thinking maybe it would be alright, but I kind of feel like I want it a little bit lighter. Only because I'm not sure if I want to do dark pink flowers and then I think we if it's if this is too bright then we won't see that. So um, I've got my... <laughs> I really need to get a new... Um, bit of kitchen towel here because this is I've used it loads as you can see just to get my brush off and then we'll use the white so this paint palette is pretty good you get quite a lot of duplicates of colours now I do have a smaller set already of um, Winsor Newman Commons because I thought this was quite expensive at the time because I went into my local art store and to be fair it was well, it wasn't ridiculously expensive, but it was at the time. And then, then a friend was like, oh, you do realise you can get these all for this price on, on Amazon? I was like, great. So then I, I just kind of felt like I had to, at that point, then get all of them. Because, you know, we're one of those people where you have to get everything. Okay. So now the only problem about mixing colours is that, undoubtedly, I may need more of this colour and I may not be able to mix it exactly the same when I do mix it so we got that there I feel like I might want to start with purple so I've mixed my pink but I'm going to actually use the purple first now don't worry I will move the pink palette out of the way I just needed it to um sorry I just have put a paintbrush in my mouth I just needed it for a second now I'm going to be very precarious and put the water on the side there oh gosh right I'm going to untake this paint palette because off because annoyingly oh my gosh oh, right let's put the water onto the side so then I don't knock it over let's get the paint palette off oh my gosh this thing always comes off and now it doesn't want to ah ah oh, why why do I have to have such issues come on oh, the thing is I don't want to tip it and then the paint go everywhere oh, okay for the life of me I cannot get this off now it normally comes off very easily, but today it's like, no, I'm going to be paying. So I'm going to move this over. Let me see. Yeah, I'm still in frame. I will zoom in a little bit, actually. So let me do that. Okay. Okay, so we should be able to see that. Um, so where is the purple one I want? It's... The third one, so one, two, three, so it's this one. So I've decided I'm going to just keep my... I'm going to keep my uh, water thing to the side so then I don't knock it. Because my dad came here the other day and I had it on the side and he decided to stroke Tilly, my cat, and he knocked it off there and all over the floor. And I was like, Dad... <laughs> So I think I kind of want to put the purple like around the um around here. Um, so I haven't really worked out the fact because obviously these colours will kind of they might bleed because normally when I have used watercolour I tend to do layers and then um to I wait for the first colour to dry so that it doesn't um you know, obviously like bleed through and stuff, but I feel because I don't want to have watermarks, I will need to use the other colours, so we will see, I may have to adapt, now I'm not, I not, don't really mind if this looks a bit, you know, weird, so this, this paintbrush is great because it's got quite a thin tip on it, so um, it will, um, you can get into like tight gaps quite easily, um, now this is a gouache paintbrush that I got with my Caran d'Ache gouache set, but you can get paintbrushes like this from Daily and Rowney, um, if you just go into any art store and ask for watercolour brushes, 
they'll have similar ones to this so you don't have to get this exact one because i'm not sure I'm, sh I'm sure you probably can buy these separate i have no idea but i will find out because i love this brush so much so i probably will see if i can get another one somehow somewhere so i don't think i'm gonna just put this like in random places i think but then hmm oh well i'm just gonna put some over here now and i really hope you can still see oh yes you can okay I will check from time to time to make sure you can see okay. Um, so yes, I'm still unfortunately in my bedroom filming because <laughs> my sister, she has moved into a house but she is taking forever to move her stuff out of her room um, which technically is now my room. Um, she Apparently they've had to put the floorboards up or something in their house and both bedrooms because of the heating. So she's like, I can't move anything in there because I've got nowhere to put it and I can't. So I'm just like, ah, oh. so... I really wanted to hurry up because I'd like to be filming on a desk, <laughs> preferably. Uh, mind you, she might take her vanity table that I'm going to use as a desk anyway. So in that case, <laughs> I will have to get myself a desk. Um, but I still hope to be in there soonish because my room is absolutely freezing in the winter time because I've got two brick walls. We have like cavity wall installation and stuff like that, but it still is absolutely freezing in my room. And she has a boiler in her room, so basically it's very warm. So I'm like, I need to be in a warm room because I am fed up of being frozen all the time. So I really hope that um, that happens soon. And I have, uh, my parents have this, it's called a gun cupboard, but it doesn't have guns in, don't worry. Um, it's just, I don't know why, it's just called a gun cupboard. So whether back in the old days, that's the sort of cupboard people would have put their guns in. Because back in the old days, we were, um, you could have them. Obviously now, we have very strict laws, so you cannot easily, easily attain a gun at all. Um, so it's called a gun cupboard. So I'm assuming that perhaps back in the old days, that is what people used to. It's got shelves in it now though, so I'm thinking that they wouldn't have had shelves in because you've hung, hung them up. <laughs> So I'm thinking that people would have had more rifles rather than pistols and stuff. I have no idea. <laughs> I know in the Victorian times people had them and stuff. Um, so we used it to house other things in there. And my parents were like, oh, we kind of want to get rid of this. And then my sister didn't want it in her house. Um, and then my dad was like, oh, yeah, I think, oh, I'm going to see if I can sell it. But can you take all anything that's in in of yours in there out? So I was like, oh, okay. So I went in there, had a look. And then I was like, you know what, actually, I reckon I could fit some colouring stuff in here because it's not, it's quite like narrow, um, but deep. So I could fit quite a few things in there, but it won't take up a lot of space, like floor space. So now I'm going to use some of this pink um, and just go around the purple, near the purple. So it might, I might get a bit of bleed, but you know, that's okay. So I'm going to go for the area, like where I first did it. Oh, I like that actually, that's a nice pink. So I am going to get a little bit of it bleeding into the other colour, but I don't mind. That's kind of an okay effect for me for this. So if you don't want that, then I would let it dry completely if you don't want that. But um, I'm, I, I, if I'm honest, it helps kind of transition the colour anyway. So I'm just, and I'm not being in really exact with this. I'm just kind of putting this wherever. <laughs> so you can do the same. You can put it wherever you'd like. <laughs> I just thought it'd be nice to have sort of purple around the flowers and then um, so then what we'll do is we'll do this pink and then we'll have a bit of yellow I think will look quite nice I might have to try and make some more of the pink but we'll see how that goes um, so yes anyway I thought that I could put my colouring books and perhaps colouring supplies in there because I needed I'll need some more shelves because I've literally filled my shelves up that I have in my room anyway for, with books and stuff and this is like normal reading books as well and then I've got some blu-rays and dvds as well in the shelf um so i'm thinking i might get these plastic containers to put the blu-ray dvds in so then i can put them that under my bed and then then i've got more space because you know unfortunately more books <laughs> more books are out i've decided i re i quite uh, i've never had any of denise collette's books so the fairies in wonderland i think it is and the mermaids in paradise i've never had any of those i do like them i think they're nice but i just never thought oh i really really want the book Gnomes in Paradise, um, no, Gnomes in the Neighbourhood, so now when I first heard that book I thought, oh, that's definitely not something I'm going to be interested in, 
and then I've seen some flip throughs and I'm like actually I really like that book so I think at some point I will get that book <laughs> um I'm just being good and not spending lots of money at the minute because I went to London this weekend because it's a half term at the moment so I thought I'd go visit my friend in London so I went and visited her and um so I had to go and get myself some new point shoes because because I, I do ballet for those of you that don't know and I've been doing point now for about two years and recently when I when we do point and we have to go on one foot my feet have been in excruciating pain like so much pain like I feel like my toenails are gonna ping off and my toes are going to break, like, I really, like, normally, you get a bit of pain, but, you know, you can, you can cope with it, normally, <laughs> like, you can stand to be on one foot or two feet, no problem, but I, I could not, I genuinely could not, and I have before been able to be on one foot fine, and it not really hurt that much, but this was just excruciating, and I was just like, I can't, I can't do this, so I thought, well, this is a bit strange, but I was like, why is it hurting all of a sudden, so I asked my teacher, and I thought, well, do you know why I'm in so much pain? Because, like, you know, it's not, like, no, normally like this, but it's just so bad. I just, I can't stand to be on one foot. And so she looked at my shoes and my feet, and she thought, oh, thinking, oh, maybe they're not holding my feet up, and that my feet are sinking into the shoe, which means basically my I'm crushing my feet in the shoes. Because I do constantly have to pull my feet back out, like, a little bit. Like, I do feel like my toes do sleep step forward but I just figured that was you know just normally what happens with your shoes um so she suggested me maybe as I've had them for two years she thought well why don't you go and see if you can get some new ones fitted and then take your old ones with you and then see what they say so there was so there's a place near where I live a dance shop where I first got mine done and I thought okay I'll have to go back there and then I thought actually I'm going to London in a few weeks time I could go to the block shop so that's the name of a dance company that that sell lots of dance wear so they sell loads of dance dance stuff shoes leotards anything dance related you name it they've got it um and they're quite like renowned in the ballet world for their shoes and stuff like a lot of the more ballerinas and stuff will wear block um i think a lot of ballet shoe um, artists wear block not everyone obviously but quite a lot of them do wear wear them so I, I thought oh I'll go there and I'll make an appointment in London and I thought oh that'd be really cool because it's quite like fancy and stuff well not fancy but you know it's like kind of a cool thing to do to get your shoes fitted in like an awesome dance store store so I booked an appointment there and I went in and I put on my old shoes said oh you know I'm having a bit of problem my feet keep slipping and it's really hurting as soon as I put the shoes on the lady was like oh my word you should not be in those shoes they do not fit you no wonder why properly that is and she was like no wonder why you're in pain and I was like really I was like I've been dancing these for two years like you know to be fair I, I have felt okay in my shoes like they did hurt quite a bit to start with but they were my first ever pair of shoes so obviously I didn't really know how they were supposed to feel and all that um but yeah that was quite interesting I was a bit like okay all right <laughs> so um that was interesting now, I think what I'm going to do, because I think the yellow is going to be very yellow, I think I'm going to mix the yellow with a bit of white here to make it kind of more of a creamy colour. So I think that would look, look quite nice with the pink and the purple. I quite like that, actually. I think that looks good. So that's a nice thing about watercolour, that you can kind of just do things like that, and it just will make a nice effect. Um, and then it's also a bit quicker and easier, rather than using pencil all the time so I'm just going to get lots of the yellow down in this so I do tend to leave quite um some colours I've mixed sometimes I don't clean them off the palette because I think uh that I could reuse them at a later date sometimes I'm like nah I don't think I will reuse it and then or I'm too lazy and I just haven't cleaned it off so I'll make a lot of this yellow so yeah so there we go apparently I've been wearing shoes that I shouldn't have been wearing so she um managed to get me some ones that she thinks bit nice unfortunately it still hurts when I'm on one foot anyway but she just seems to think that that's unfortunately just how it's going to be for me but they are far more comfortable than the other ones so and they seem to stay on better so I just need to sew my ribbon on them um and then I'll just try them out a little bit at home and see how I get on so I'm going to look very forward to going next Friday's when I've got my first point class of this 
six week period that we are in um, and I'm looking forward to wearing them and seeing how much better I can dance in them because I think that will be awesome and also up of in London I finally got myself a really warm winter coat so I am so ecstatic because I can just be so warm now and I don't have to worry about freezing anymore so I'm really happy about that um what else have I been up to um well I've been doing quite a bit of colouring to be fair because um I've just because uh, of the type of job I have I don't have to spend a lot of my free time now doing a lot of planning and things because quite often I had I'd come home and I'd have quite a bit of like extra work to do which you know comes with the job so that's fine um but it's nice because I've got more free time so um I have been busy trying to do what colouring I can because I kind of feel like time is quite precious these days and that you know in the far future when I eventually have my own house and eventually have children I'm not going to have time to do my hobby <laughs> because you know let's face it children will come first <laughs> um and then my house and then obviously jobs and things like that so um I just thought you know whilst I can I have whilst I have for some free time whilst I don't have a boyfriend to you know kind of hang out with <laughs> um I will spend some time trying to do more colouring so I actually managed to get quite a lot done this month um which I was kind of surprised about actually I didn't think I would get that much done so I'm I'm just gonna clean my brush off so I can try and blend um because obviously it's dried a bit here I'm just gonna try and blend it so it doesn't look like there's such a harsh line so that's what you can kind of try and do sometimes is try and um just get your brush off the colour that you've got it on and then just get some plain water and then sometimes you can try and blend the two colours I mean it's still gonna have a bit of dry mark on it but better than nothing and then you can just go and spread so I haven't put any more yellow on I'm just spreading this yellow out because we'll come back in with some of that pink and orange and stuff um momentarily we'll just do this bit around here so you could just go and do all the purple bits first then all the pink and then all the yellow um I'm kind of not doing that <laughs> and what I'll probably do is I'll probably just do this bit and then I'll stop finish the rest and then we'll go back on just so the video's not like super long because um you'll you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing so you don't really need to have me do the whole thing for you and I hope you can see it I hope that my hand isn't in like the way I've just realized that maybe my hand so and also don't worry if you go over any of the leaves or the flowers with the watercolor because you can color over it with pencil I mean obviously the darker the watercolor the hot you know you're if you're coloring your flower say a light pink and you've colored you've accidentally got dark blue paint on it then okay you're probably not going to be able to paint over that um sorry colour over it with pencil so you you're probably gonna have to um I would say get some um change it to a blue blue flower instead <laughs> but normally it's not too bad if you're doing like quite light paint it'll be all right um so I quite like this actually I'm glad that I did I kind of made the yellow a bit lighter because I think it would have been too bright but this looks a lot nicer now it's kind of like um it's, it's still quite yellow but it's not like i was kind of trying to make it more creamy but actually i think it looks fine it being the way it is i think that's the problem sometimes now that's leaf isn't it so this is where i get stuck i'm like is that leaf or is that like background i think this bit here is background because that's like a vine going up there and then i reckon this is space here because then that'll be part of the leaf okay there we go we just dabbed dab that in and then this little line here will be free space as well I think so we've got to put a bit more around over here um, so yeah um I don't really think like I've been up to lots of stuff I have been really wanting to book a holiday to Greece though um but <laughs> because we still don't have an EU deal thing or like a Brexit deal thing um now when I want to go would be like maybe two three weeks after we're supposed to leave and if we don't apparently have a deal then the fl flights may have to be grounded and I was like well I don't want to book this holiday we not have a deal and then not be able to go because the planes like grounded. Uh, to be fair though I reckon they'd sort something out because 
um, he throws like the world's busiest airport, I think, and so much, so many goods and travel, you know, a lot of travel, like, business people come in and out there, so I can imagine like that'd be so devastating to the economy. I do think that they would want um, to have the airport open for business and stuff, so I reckon they'd sort something out. But um, yeah, it's kind of annoying because like I really want to book it because um, so I was thinking of going to Athens because um, I've never been. I've always wanted to go and um, I really want to, I know it's not like the most amazing part of Greece to go to but for a few days to see like the, things like the Parthenon and some of the other things I think would be nice. So I'm just going to blend some of this in a little bit, just very gently. Um, so uh, hopefully I may get to do that and I've also tried trying to save some money for I really want to go to Florida, Disney World, um, for 2020, so I am trying to save money for that now. I kind of know roughly what hotel I might stay on and how much that might cost, so I need to save money for that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm just going to stop the camera from the moment. I'm going to finish the rest of this off, and then I'll come back. Because I think you can get the gist. So basically what I've been doing is I've been using the darkest colour. I've decided to put the darkest colour sort of around the petals. And I haven't done it all the way around all the flower. Like I've just done some of it. But you could do that if you want. And then I'm using that sort of pinky colour that we've lightened up. And then I'm going in with the lighter yellow. Um, so where the yellow is here we will have the pink back. But I'm personally going to go in with the purple first. I think it's easy to do that way. And it doesn't matter if, for example, I could be putting the purple by the yellow. I think that'll be fine. So um, you, of course, could do this with any colour you like. You don't have to do it with these colours. I just felt like these colours would look nice. You could do it with whatever colours you like. But, um, yeah, that's kind of the method that, like, I'm using. So hopefully you find that useful um, to use. For, and you could do this for backgrounds as well. Like, I think I want to try and use this more and use more watercolour backgrounds for for things so I thought I thought that for me because there was another picture in this book I did think of starting but it had quite a big background and I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out so actually I think it's better I did it on this small one first a smaller area to see how it would turn out so I'll be back momentarily okay everyone I am back I finished painting all of this um sphere thing now um it's a little bit wet in a few places. I've been waiting a while for it to dry. And whilst I have, um, I've um, picked out the colours for the leaves and the flowers. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of the leaves and the flowers where it's kind of dry. So I don't smudge my hand in the way. But there's just like little patches here and there. And I can't be bothered to wait <laughs> forever for it to dry because I want to move on. So I thought I'll try and do what I can. And hopefully by the time it's dried I can... Go on now. I won't obviously do every single leaf or every single flower, but I'll show you all the colours I'm using and on which flowers I'm using which colours, and then you'll know what ones to use. Now I'm using Prisma colour pencils this time, just them, nothing else. So I think we'll start with these leaves on this flower here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more if the camera will let me. There we go. And then I think that's as far as I can get. <laughs> and then you can see what I'm using. So I've decided, now I've written them all down as well, <laughs> which is really handy. So I'm going to use, now this is dark green. My dark green Prisma is so short, it has to go in a pencil extender. So, And unfortunately the number's not on there anymore either. So I can't tell you the number, but it's dark green. Okay. Then I've got just spring green. So, ooh, hold on, uh -huh, there we go, spring green, now you might not be able to read that, but it's PC 913, so spring green and dark green, that's the only colours I'm going to use for these leaves, so I am going to just lightly use the spring green just to lightly coat the leaf, so I'll do this one as well. So I tried to choose kind of... My flowers are going to be like purple, pink and yellow. So I tried to kind of go with the same theme um, of just having kind of the same colours. But hopefully they'll go okay. So now I'm going to use the dark green now. I'm going to go quite firm where I really want it to be the darkest. 
so I am pressing there fairly hard at this point because I'm not too fussed about really layering and stuff too much. I will like a little bit. Now I'm going to also do a little bit down the bottom as well. Um, but I, what I am doing, I'm pressing hard sort of around here, but then I am sort of going a bit more medium pressure to light pressure um, where I want to sort of go a little bit lighter. So now I kind of want to light it. So it's a bit easier sometimes to just do little strokes on small areas where you want it to be lighter. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to drag and feather the colour out a little bit more to the centre. And now I'm going to get my spring green and I'm going to go fairly firm over that dark green. And So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say medium pressure, it's not like really hard but I am sort of going back and forth quite a lot just to kind of get the blend between the two colours. So I'm just going to do that here. I'm going to try and leave a little bit of a whitish highlight. So what I might do is just get my white uh, pencil, which I wasn't actually thinking of using, but now I think it would be a good thing to use. So I'm going to get my white pencil and we'll have a bit of a highlight there in the middle. So I've got to try and get it now. I've got all my books like on top of the pencils, which all my um, swatch books on top of the pencils. Ugh, hold on, let me hold those. <laughs> and then I can get that easily without... There we go. Oh, and it's nice and sharp as well. Yay. I love how I still have my original white. Like, it's still going strong. So this is PC938. You can use whatever white you have if you do not have this one. Oh, no. I somehow got a bit of paint there. It wasn't from my hand either. I don't know how that happened. Oh, well. Um, so there we go. And that will just give it a bit of a shine. Oh, I like that. That's a good leaf. And that was just using essentially three colours. I'm thinking of using the watercolour to do kind of like, I kind of was thinking using green, which I'll do after I've done all the leaves, just to kind of, um, I don't know, maybe like do like little things like this. I was thinking maybe of trying. I don't know how it's going to look or if it will look great or not, but you know, you have to experiment and try these things. So I say it's worth a try. Um, either it'll work or it won't and we've got to be brave these days and try things and it's nice to try new things because just why not why not try something new so if you've never really used watercolour before and you'd like to please do um, try and join in with what I'm doing and as I say you can use the watercolour stuff that I used um, on anything on my background on a tiny bit um, we didn't even have to use it on this picture, you could use it on any picture, from any book, and I say like any old watercolour will do. Um, I wonder if Newton Cotman's are pretty decent, um, they're not like prof like professional paints, but I think they're quite vibrant, they're not inexpensive, um, or should I say they're inexpensive, <laughs> they're inexpensive, and you can get replacement pans quite easily, like they sell the replacement pans, like the half pans. Um, oh well, they sell them in my local art shop, so I'm going to see most art stores, like Hobbycraft would be one if you're in the UK. I know they sell them in there. Um, and I'm sure a lot of other art stores and craft stores will sell them. If not, they'll be online that you could get them. Um, so I do feel like that is pretty good set to have if you've not had one. Um, the Jane Davenport sets are pretty good too, but they're just, their range of colours are different. So um, I just feel like the Winter Newton Cotman ones have a good range of colours for you to start with. Um, I am trying to sort of get some Schmincke watercolour paints here and there, but they are quite expensive. So what I would, thought I would try and do is just get colours to supplement the colours I already have. So. I am doing that when I can, so I'm just going to check, I think that's all dry so I can put my hand on it. I was just like, oh, I don't want to put my hand there and find out it's like wet still, because that wouldn't be good. <laughs> so yeah, it's not to worry about getting the bit yellow there. When I use the green paint, hopefully it will cover up, so. Hopefully, I'm, I'm really hoping, I'm, I don't know whether, I'm, hmm, I'm trying to decide whether I want to have it go all the way down, just, oh, maybe it would look nice if it's just down there hmm I'm not really sure how it's gonna go I may cut I think well I'm gonna color all this in first 
I may take a picture of it as it is, just in case <laughs> it looks horrible and then at least I've got a picture of what it did look like. Um, but you know, I'm going to be brave and give something a try and see if it'll work and either it will or it won't. So, um, yes, <laughs> I'm going to be brave. So I'm going to do this one. So I hope everybody else has been good and that you've enjoyed yourselves. And um, it was obviously Halloween the other day. Um, I didn't like, sometimes my friends have like Halloween parties and we like, you know, dress up and celebrate and stuff and just chill. But we didn't really do that this year. I think because it's on a Wednesday, so it's a bit tricky. And most people, if they've done a house party or something like that, they would have done it on the, the weekend prior, but I was in London. Although I did see lots of people out and about in costumes and it was so funny. So I saw loads of people wearing costumes on the Saturday night and I was like, oh, okay, that's a bit weird. There was so many people in costumes, did not really put two and two together. Oh, that's the weekend that people will be dressing up for Halloween because obviously most people don't really go out on a Wednesday night unless they're a student. But um, I was like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> it was really funny. I was just going around just like, like oh, I wonder what, what they're dressed up for for my birthday. <laughs> So that was quite amusing. Um, so I did make some Halloween shaped biscuits for the, well, for myself, but also for the trick or treaters because, um, like, we could have bought some sweets, but I was just like, you know what? If we don't get very many, I'm going to end up eating all these sweets. And I kind of felt more like I wanted a biscuit rather than a sweet. And I have these Halloween cookie cutters, and I thought, well, I don't really get to use them very often. And I didn't make them biscuits last year, so I thought, well, I'll do them this year. Um, and we had a couple of trick or treaters actually. Um, I put, I have like a, a little Halloween candle lantern thing which I had in the window just to kind of be like, you can come trick or treat. But the first trick or treaters, bless them, they saw us because we left the window kind of open. I mean, it was dark, but they could see that we were inside and stuff. And I was like, oh, the trick or treaters, and I really wanted to give out some of my biscuits. So I was like, I was like motioning them in the window, like, come, come. And then I had to like go run kind of outside and be like, come and get some treats. And their parents were like, oh, they're just really shy. And it was really sweet. They were very sweet. Um, and so we did have quite a few actually in the end. More than we had, well, last year I think none of us were in. I'm pretty sure we were all out because I think I had ballet. Possibly. Did I have ballet? Maybe I didn't have ballet. But I, I have a feeling we were not in. So that we didn't get any last year. And I think the year before that, again, I think I was out. So I'm going to do. Do I want to do it this sleeve? Hmm. So I think this, this, so the dark green and the spring green, these leaves here will be all that colour. Then I think I'll do these leaves. And the, so most of the leaves are going to be that, that colour because I really like it. So these, these here, these, these here, these all here, including these ones on this side. Yes. No. So this one, this one, this one, this one, then these like little ones, I think, and I'm going to do that colour. And then I think the other green I'm going to do, and I think I'll do this, that green too. I'm going to do this, 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 and I think those, the other colour, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use my, I've got sepia, which is PC948, and I'm only using a touch of that just to make the green a bit darker. Then I've got PC109 Prussian green. I'm really sorry if you can't see these because the camera zoomed in. I just realised and I may not be holding it and you can't see it. And this is Apple Green PC 912. And this is Chartreuse PC 989. So I'm going to take the Chartreuse first and I'm going to just make sure. I... Oh, I just realised you didn't see what leaves I was pointing to. So these leaves here, I'm going to do this colour. So I'm going to do this these ones here that color and then the rest I'm kind of going to do the other color to be honest it doesn't really matter exactly what ones you do you can do them whatever you might decide you want to use that green for these ones so whatever you wish um I'm just doing it this way and I really hope that it's not super dark by the way I feel like it's really dark on, on the camera I'm gonna move my paint out the way because I feel like I don't want to get my book, my brand new book, covered in paint already. So I'm just going to use this chartreuse to like base these leaves here. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm going, I'm going to use a little bit of the Prussian green first. So I'm not going to press really hard because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, sepia on top. Okay, bye. Okay, my dad's just leaving because he's going to go meet a friend. Um, he's just let me know he was leaving. So I'm going to just use the Prussian green a little bit. I'm just going to put it where I'd like it because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, sepia just to add a bit of depth to it. But we don't want to use a lot of sepia because we want it to kind of look very green. Um, I always find it really hard to like choose greens for in the prisma colour set like to make them look like realistically like I don't know why I just get overwhelmed because there's so many greens but I feel I find it really hard to kind of get good colour combos with them so that's something I'm still trying to learn whereas I feel like with the polychromos I prefer those greens because I feel like they're more natural green colours whereas I feel like there's not very many in the prisma and the darker ones like the kelp green marine green a Prussian green you know, olive green, I think those are fine, those are all colours you would see, but then I think you've got a lot of bright colours, and I feel like, how how can I get those to go with them? And so, yeah, I get a bit like, I don't know, so I'm still trying to work out, like, colour co colour combos with green for leaves, and I know loads of people probably have already figured out what colours they want to use to make their greens. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure yet, not sure yet, so I've written these ones down so that I don't forget, because sometimes I probably have found, oh, I think this these colours go great, and then I never write down the colour combo, because I just forget. So I'm trying to do that more often in my little book, <laughs> write down colour combos. So now we use the sepia, which is PC948, and I'm going to just um, press a little me, me, kind of, still kind of light, I'm just going what I'm doing is I am going back and forth quite a lot to over the thing so it will make it darker but I'm sort of pressing uh, pressing kind of slightly hard then lighter but not medium pressure so it's kind of like in between and then I'm going even lighter where I'm kind of feathering it out a little bit so hopefully when we put the green on top it will make it look a bit darker Um, I'm hoping that these leaves will go together. I think I'm hope I'm hoping they will. I really I really do like my dark green and spring green because quite often I use three colours for these and I use a dark and medium colour and then a light colour. Now I'm finding for contrast it's actually better to just use the really dark and the really light together and then kind of blend them in the middle and between and then you can always use a white as well to make you know it's kind of what we did with the dark green and spring green. I'm finding that that gives you more depth rather than if you have too many colours that are too similar to each other, it's great if you want like a seamless like colour transition, but if you really want to have contrast, then you can't really do that. So, um, something I'm learning on my colouring journey, because I want to try and add more depth and things. I mean, I won't all the time, because all the t sometimes I might feel like I don't need to. But I am trying. Trying to develop myself as a colourist a little bit more. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'll just do some brown here as well. So I really can't believe that it's going to be Christmas soon. I swear time flies so fast. Um, so there's already like Christmas decorations up. I mean like hobby crafts have already been since like July they've been selling Christmas stuff in there. But that's only because you know that's for like making cards and things. And you know fair enough if you're going to make say cards for everybody that you know. And that could be like 50 to... 100, 200 people, then it will take you several months to probably make them. So it makes sense that you will need to have various things. But they have like things for to make Christmas decorations stuff. So I don't know if I've got a bit of spare change, <laughs> I might have a go at trying to do um, maybe like a Christmas decoration or something, perhaps. Um, but I'm trying to be good because I got to buy a few presents and then oh, there's a couple of colouring books I want. Um, so this is Prussian green now, so I'm going back with the Prussian green and we're going to go back over. So I'm kind of, kind of doing that light to medium pressure so it's not super hard. I'm just going back and forth a lot so it's kind of like layering and slash blending it all together. Sort of a bit harder when the areas I want it to be the darkest and then obviously going a bit lighter pressure as I go out. 
because I quite like the Clara McCova book, um, the fair, was it Fairy Miracles? It looks so cute! I love the little fairy picture so much, and I love that there's loads of Christmas ones in there as well, so I'm like, oh, I need this before Christmas, because then, I mean, I don't mind if they're wintry pictures, like, and they haven't got Christmas scenes in, because you can still colour those January, February, I mean, you can colour the Christmas pictures whenever, but I'm one of those people that, if it's a proper Christmas picture, I really only want to colour it during the Christmas period, and then when Christmas is over, unless it's Christmas in July, of course, then I'm kind of a bit like, oh, I don't really want to colour a Christmas picture in now. I mean, I was like that with the Halloween ones. I felt like I'm obviously not going to colour any more Halloween ones in. I mean, I might still colour some spooky ones in, but they might not necessarily be directly Halloween pictures. So, like, ones with, like, actual pumpkins in. Um, and, you know, anything that's definitely very Halloween-y, um, I won't be colouring. But if it's like, just a spooky picture, then yes, I can colour... I will colour that. But that's just how um, I like to do things. Um, it's the same as, like, all... T I've tried to colour quite a lot of autumnal pictures, now I can still colour some of those in now, and technically I can colour autumnal pictures whenever, but I just, I feel more in the mood to colour in, like, this, like, autumnal type things as the season is, I mean, that doesn't mean I won't do some in the summer, because I might do so, you know, I'm not going to be like, oh no, I'm definitely not going to colour this, you know, past this season, why do you try to sort of colour around the season a bit more I feel like that's what I kind of want to try and do but especially with my seasons book I <laughs> feel like I, I got it last year I've done a few pictures in it um but I felt like you know I need to, I, mean, I have and I did I did do the summer one in the summer I think I don't think I did a spring one in the springtime I don't think I've done any winter ones and obviously I've done I did do an autumn one I think last year when it was autumn that was the only one I did in it and then I've done two autumn ones this year, including the Halloween one. So I feel like I am, you know, using the book a lot more. Um, I love Hannah Carson's books. So yeah, I'm excited. She's bringing out a new one. It comes out, well, in Sweden it will come out in spring. I probably won't get, get it until August because I like to collect the English editions. Only because I've, that's just, all of them are English, and I just feel like, ah, oh, it would look weird if I just had a Swedish one. Now, that's quite funny, considering my Maria Troller ones, I've got uh, English, a sweet, a, no, an English, a Dutch, and then two Swedish editions. So, with Maria, regards to Maria Troller's things, um, I'm okay with them not being <laughs> in whatever language, I'll get them whatever. <laughs> just because it's just how it's happened. Um... And also, Emily Lytold Oberg, I've got fairy tales, but that's the English edition, only because it was easier to, and cheaper to get that, the English one on Amazon than it was to get the Swedish one, because I've had to pay a lot of money shipping and things like that, so it was just easier to get the English one. And then finally, and I'm waiting for it to come in the post, I have got Saga or Sackner, because she has reprinted it. And I'm so happy, because I won, at first I didn't like her books, at first I was like, oh, they're a bit weird. I don't, don't quite like that. And then over time, I slowly but surely started warming up to her. And then I thought, actually, I quite like that um, Sagna one. Oh, maybe I'll go and buy it. And then lo and behold, it was out of print. And I was like, oh, okay. And uh, I didn't like fairy tales as much. But I think I looked at a couple of fr flip throughs. And I thought, you know, actually, it is quite sweet. I will, as I can get that one, I'll get that one. Because I thought, well, it's better to have that one than not have any of her books. Because I thought, like... Saga or Sakna would never be reprinted, if I'm honest. So I got it, and I've been very happy with it. Now I'm going to use the apple green. And again, I'm kind of only really using medium to light pressure. I'm not really using hard pressure here, because I'm just kind of slowly blending the leaves in. And we probably won't really use much chartreuse in this. Um, we'll just probably use a touch of it on the ends here, because I kind of don't want it to be too bright. I quite kind of want it to have a more natural sort of look. And I feel like your leaves aren't bright, bright green. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Maybe when they're like, you know, when they're sort of going yellow green, when they're either they're, they're in the springtime when they're like just coming out or, you know, in the autumn time when they go that sort of like uh, greeny yellow colour, then yes. Then they're bright, but <laughs> until then. Actually, I, we've got like a Japanese acer tree in the front of our garden and when the leaves are about to fall off that they go bright red it's such a nice color so at the moment it's still kind of the maroony like red that it is now 
but it will um Tuscan red actually. It's more of a Tuscan red, I think. But they will go bright red and they look really nice. Um actually there's a picture in one of those Chinese coloring books I have and it's got a lady led down with all these leaves and I was thinking I'd love to do them for that colour so I think I might do that picture. Um so this whole month I'm trying to think about what I think what pictures I want to do. What? Also I've got wild flowers so I'm definitely doing well I'm doing this picture and I'd like to do the nameplate page as well so that way then that's at least two pictures from this book I might do another one because um at first I didn't really love this book I liked it I didn't love it though and I, I did think you know I will get it because I well, I don't know I just always get Joanna Basford's books I generally really like her work um I uh, really liked Inky and the Ivy Inky and the Ivy Butterfly Ivy and the Inky Butterfly I really liked that one actually that came out last year um I haven't really coloured lots in it though. I think because I'm colouring in my Enchanted Forest one, I feel like I've neglected my other Jana Basford books because I'm colouring in that one so much. Or I already feel like, oh, I'm already colouring a lot of Jana Basford. Um, you know, I need to, I need to colour something else. So I feel like once I finish, now I'm only eight pages away from finishing Enchanted Forest, by the way, so I'm so ecstatic. Then I can actually focus on her other books and. I can actually colour some more in them because I feel like I want to give them a bit more love. There's a few whips I've got in um, Lost Ocean that I would like to finish at some point and then try and figure out how I'm going to colour in some of those teeny tiny details because <laughs> unfortunately that one's very teeny tiny detailed compared to her other ones. And like Secret Garden, like I did buy a second copy because a while ago because the paper on my original copy was not very good. Um, so I haven't really, I think I've only done two pictures in it all together, so I feel like I'd like to try and maybe do a bit more. I don't really enjoy the pictures in that book so much anymore as I did. I think just because, you know, colouring books and drawings and art, it's all like, it's just, I mean, even Joanna Bassett, like, her art has just, it's evolved, because, like, that's just how things are, and I prefer... Like, I prefer her style now to her first book. But then I, but then I still really like, like, Enchanted Forest, which is her second one. That is still one of my favourite books, actually. I really enjoyed her art in that one. Although I do feel like there was way too many leaves in it. And I know this flower book will have lots of leaves because it's flowers. But actually, I don't mind because there's more flowers than there are leaves. So, therefore, I'm a bit more happy about it. So, I'm going to just really lightly use the chartreuse now because I don't want... I feel I don't want it to be really bright, so I really like how the sleeves come out actually. So it took a bit of patience, but it's come out really good actually. Oh, I like this. And it looks kind of realistic. So I'm glad I've written those colours down. Um I will try to in the description box below now that because I have written the colours that I've used down. I will try and put those in. Now, I can't guarantee that every single colouring um, and chat thing that we do, that there will be all the colours listed in the box below because sometimes I'll forget or I might not have written them down. But where I can, I will try to include them for you because I know some people were saying that it would be easier if they were in there. But most people who do the colouring and, you know, colouring channels, they don't list the colour pencils in their description box. But I will try and do that where I can for some of you um just because I know it would be easier if you just want the colours and don't want to have to constantly keep going back through the videos all the time okay I feel like all of it's kind of dry now and there might be uh, some patches that are a little bit damp but <clears throat> so there's the leaves colour so let's do a flower oh my battery on my phone is kind of dying hmm I don't think okay I'm gonna have to be really quick at doing a flower I want to show you all three flowers, but what I might have to do is just show you one, put my phone on charge, and then come back. So that might mean that I will have done some of the other flowers, but I will leave, like, some of them blank. And then we'll come back and we'll do the background as well. So this, I do think this colouring chat will be, like, over an hour long, but I feel like we will have gotten the whole picture done in that time. And that is what I'm most happy about. So, um, unless I decide to put it in two parts, because I might do that. I might do part one and then part two. So, we will see, because I'll have different parts. So, anyway, enough chatter. Let's get on with 
colours now. I think I might use these. Oh no, now I don't know which. Uh, which one do I want to do? Which colour? That would help. Um, I feel like I want to use the lighter ones for this. So these are my lighter flowers. So the darkest pink I've got is this is blush pink PC nine two eight. Then I've got deco pink, which is PC one zero one four, and then I've got light peach, which is PC nine two seven. Is that right? I feel like that's not right. No, that's not right. My bad. Ignore that. Ignore the colours I just said because that wasn't the right. <laughs> now I've got it right. So now, okay, the darkest colour is process red PC nine nine four. I'm glad I wrote these down now. Then blush pink PC two eight, and then deco pink. PC 1014. I was going to say, I didn't think I had it that light. Oh, and I've got hair on my way. Uh, so let's just use this deco pink to just lightly go over this flower. Now this, these two flowers here, let me see, are we on, in frame yet? These two flowers here will be the same colour. Um, they obviously just have this thing in the middle there. So I'm just going to really lightly, so we probably will use maybe our white now I'm not going to be able to do the whole flower, I'm just going to do a few petals because, uh, like I said, my <laughs> battery might run out and then you won't know what we're doing. So this is a process red, so how do I want to do this? I feel like I want to do where these lines are, I feel like I want to make those darker. So I'm going to press a little bit firm here. And then I'm going to go over a bit more meaty me. And I will do the top part of it as well. And I feel like with flowers it's easier to do this like stroking motion because then you can kind of get like, I, 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 try, I like to try and do like, you know, flowers, they kind of have those streaky things with the colours. I like to try and do that, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, it works all the time. So, um, we will do that there. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I want to do this little notch down here. I think I do. I think I'm going to do this as well at the bottom, but we're only going to have it like a little bit at the bottom. I was thinking of doing it in the notch, but we won't, so there we go. We've just got a tiny bit down the bottom as well. So then I'm going to use the blush pink, which is my really short one now, which is PC2A, and we will just go over. Now I'm just going to come be flicking this in. It's a little bit like when you use do fur almost, but not. It's just this is a bit more easier to get that sort of like stripey type thing going in. don't really know how to explain it, but you know flowers with the colours they sometimes have like lines I don't know I don't really know <laughs> what else to say it so we're just going to do that and then we're going to get the deco pink and we're just going to do some of that this way now I know my deco pink isn't really sharp or anything but it's fine for the for what we're doing I don't need to have it super sharp but you could do and then I think I might use my white which now I have to find oh here it is so I am going to just get that bit of green that I important always clean your white after you use it so I'm just gonna on a scrap piece of paper I've got over here just get that green off because we don't need to transfer the green to the pink because that won't look good okay I think I've got most of it off and then I'm just gonna go over and press kind of firm to sort of like get a, it's gonna kind of blend the colors together more than it is gonna add a bit of shine um there, I think that looks quite nice actually so again, I'm going to get the process red. Now I could, if I wanted to make this even darker, get some sort of darker colour pink and go over it, but I don't actually, or like a red. Oh, probably red would look alright. But I'm not going to do this on this one, but maybe in the future I might do that. Again, I'm not like super, oh, I must have the most amazing contrasted bit. Actually, I think I'll do this one because, oh, just because I'm, I'm a bit worried I'm casting the shadow. And that you'll be able to see this a bit better if I'm not casting a shadow on it. Um, so, um, 
don't know what I'm going to do with that lip or where the flower's kind of gone over a minute so I'm going to ignore it for the time being <laughs> we'll just do these lines and then kind of go down here so as I say I'm going fairly hard at there and then I'm sort of going more medium-y light pressure here whilst I want to bring it down oh this is really hard to do so hopefully <laughs> maybe at the end of this month I will be in a different room and we will not have to have this crappy lighting situation going on I may buy myself like a daylight lamp as well so because to be fair the lamp I've got on by my bedside right now I've had since I was like 13 I think so this is a blush pink um so I feel like I should get myself a new lamp but um as I'm trying to save money where I can I may have to wait some time because I'll certainly if I um either will have to buy myself a very cheap desk if my sister decides to take her vanity table with her or I'm gonna have to at least buy like a chair to sit on and then I need to buy myself well I'm gonna keep her bed because she doesn't need her bed she's got a new bed I'm just gonna use her bed but get like a new mattress because again I don't really want to spend loads of money buying stuff because I'm still hoping that I might move abroad and then if I do that I can't really take a lot of the big furniture with me and I don't want to spend money buying something really nice and her bed's actually quite all right it's nice anyway um so the bed frame's fine so I this is the deco pink um so I think what I'll do is I'll just buy a mattress Although I might have to wait a while before I can buy the mattress. <laughs> but I'll certainly buy a new duvet. <laughs> I've got pillows already. I've bought pillows already. And like a cover. I need to get another cover actually. I need to have two. Um, so now we're going to go with the white. And we're just going to kind of blend that together. So that looks nice. So we'll try and figure out what colour we want this. And then I'm going to end this little bit here. And then when I come back you'll see that a lot more has been coloured. Um, but of course I will leave some flowers free um for you guys so you can see <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to do the yellow ones now I kind of feel like I want to do them all this pi these pink the pink colors I've chosen but I might change my mind so let's see I think it's best if we use this blush pink maybe um actually no with the tip actually I'm going to do the very tip of the process red but we're not going to have a lot of it so just the very tip and then blend that out and then the pro then I think we'll just use this blush pink there we go so that's how I did that so that looks kind of quite all right actually I like that so I will finish the rest of the flower so this flower this flower um will be those colors and um then I will tell you once I've colored the rest what other flowers I've decided to also do that color so I'm going to leave it there because my phone is dying so I will see you in a moment.